guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series, I will discuss Microtech Hotspot. In this video, I will demonstrate basic hotspot configuration. I have here a topology. Port 1 for our internet source, port 2 for our LAN, port 4 and Wi-Fi, WLAN for our hotspot bridge. Let's now access our Microtech device. We will rename the interfaces first, Ether1 for our ISP, Ether2 for our LAN, and we will enable WLAN1. Double click it, change the mode to AP Bridge, then rename the SSID to Jot Hotspot. It's up to you what name you want. Apply then OK. We will create bridge for our bridge hotspot. So click bridge. In the bridge tab, click plus. We will name this one bridge hotspot. OK. Then in the ports tab, click plus. Interface, enter 4. And WLAN 1. Close. We'll go next to IP, then DNS, click on our remote request in the servers, we will input 8.8.8, .8 public DNS, Google DNS, 8.8.4.4, and OK. Then we will go now to IP addresses, we'll ask an IP to our LAN, I'll input 192.168.88.1 slash 24, apply, then OK. Then we will now go to IP, the DCP client, for our Ether1 ISP, click plus, then click I, apply, then OK. To get an IP coming from our internet modem. Now, we will go to firewall, then not click plus general outer interface through an ISP then an action masquerade click apply then OK. We'll also make a DHCP server for our LAN. Click DHCP setup, Ether to LAN, click next, 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 next. OK. For the basic configuration of Microtech, I made the videos. I'll put the link on the description box below. So, at this moment, we now have an internet in our Microtech device. Let's try to ping. All right, we now have an internet. Let's now proceed uh, to set up our hotspot. Go to IP, then hotspot. Then the, click hotspot setup button. Hotspot interface, choose bridge hotspot, then next, leave the rest to defaults, then click next, 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 next. Then in the DNS name, I'll put jot.hotspot. It's up to you what name you want to put here. Just click next, then create local hotspot user. I'll just assign an, a password admin, then next. Setup has completed successfully. After we did these steps, Megatech will create some configurations automatically. Let's check in IP, then pool. So as you can see, Megatech created IP pool for our hotspot profile. In IP DHCP server also. In IP firewall, then NAT also. So as you can see, Microtech created many rules in our NAT tab, also in filter rules. Let's go back to our hotspot. We'll, we'll go to server profiles, then click 
the created hotspot profile. Double click this one. Check HTTP pop and uncheck cookie. Click apply and OK. We will try to connect to our hotspot Wi-Fi now. So when we connect successfully to the hotspot Wi-Fi, we will be redirected to the default login page of Microtech Hotspot. So let's just wait for it to be connected. All right, so we are now redirected to the I'll I'll disable first the LAN so that you will you can see the default login page. So I'll disable first this one. Then I'll try to log in again to the Jet Hotspot Wi-Fi. So I'll forget this one first. Then click again. So when we connect successfully to the Jet Hotspot, we'll be redirected to the Microtech Hotspot login page. Let's just wait. Right, as you can see, this is the Microtech default hotspot page. So we'll input username and password here. So what we created previously is that the username is admin, then the password is admin also. Click connect. So as you can see, we are now connected to the hotspot Wi-Fi. So let's try to do speed test. All right, so as what you can see, we now have an internet coming from our hotspot. So when you go to IP hotspot and check in the active tabs, this is our laptop that is connected to the hotspot Wi-Fi. So we have now a traffic, 20.4 Mbps coming from the speed test. So this is it guys on how to do basic hotspot setup in Microtech. I will make more videos regarding Microtech hotspot. Just stay tuned guys. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.